99. Let's get to Bottoms, which came out in, I think, mid-2023, and it's currently on Amazon Prime to stream. It's directed by Emma Seligman, stars Rachel Sinnott, also co-written by her, Ayo Edabiri, Ruby Cruz, Havana Rose Liu, and a few others. And the synopsis is, two unpopular queer high school students start a fight club to have sex before graduation. So, I had heard about this one when it came out. Didn't really think much on it. I was like, alright, I'll get around to it. But I heard it was actually like surprisingly good. It was like one of the better comedies of last year. And I also knew they had sort of a twist on Fight Club, so I was curious about that. And finally got around to seeing it just recently. And I think I'm pretty much with the majority. I thought it was very solid. I don't think it's a masterpiece. It wouldn't have been, you know, top five of the year. But I think in terms of straight comedies, pun there, I really thought it was genuinely funny. Like Rachel Sinnott, if I'm saying that name right, she's hysterical in this. I haven't seen the other movie she was in by the same director, Shiva Baby, which I'm now very curious to see. But she is so funny in this. Like her delivery and the writing is very sharp. And the other actress, Ayo Edabiri, I've seen her in, I think, a couple other things. I liked her. Overall, I don't think she has as many good jokes as Rachel Sinat, but they're both very good together, very good chemistry, and it did remind me a lot of Heather's in terms of the plot. Like, I won't spoil too much, but there's this whole thing of a threat to the school and violence in the past history and people sort of going off the edge, which I don't love Heather's either, kind of for the same reasons. Like, the plot becomes so ridiculous by the end. Like, this movie is in a really weird reality. Like, in terms of the extreme nature of this rivalry between these two high schools, the violence, threats, all that stuff seems a little... At times, it was so serious or so straightforward with how it was presenting that, that it sort of lost me. I was like, all right, seems a little too ridiculous. But then it would sort of get back into a very over-the-top, cartoony reality so I think overall it still worked like there were just a few moments that it kind of took me out of it but not a huge deal because it's still very creative I think that the fight club concept and these two lesbian girls trying to get laid before they go to college and all that I think all those dynamics are very good the teacher who they hire as their like advisor for the club is fantastic in it like I think it's very refreshingly modern. I think the perspectives that it has on high schoolers and certain personas or stigmas that maybe because of how they dress or their sexuality or whatever, like certain stereotypes, I think how people present different aspects to that is very interesting and new that I haven't really seen in most high school comedies in quite some time. So I really appreciated that. And that's something that I think even I connected with now being like 30. So very good movie. Probably the writing is the best part, which these days it's pretty rare to get a comedy that has great writing. It's almost always relying on really over-the-top performances or whatever else it may be besides writing. So that's why so many nowadays are kind of lazy, I think. But this one really is on point. The soundtrack is awesome. Like the score and the soundtrack picks are like perfect. So, very good movie, not too long, like 90 minutes. I think most people could enjoy it, and I think if you're anyone in that realm of this genre, or like being a fan of it, I would check it out for sure. Very underrated. I think it'll have a bit of a shelf life. I do just wish, though, that the plot, especially towards the end, was maybe a little toned down. I guess in some ways that is what makes it memorable, but I didn't totally love it. Oh, and also the, not to spoil it, like some of the twists on which girls turn out to be straight and which are gay is also very effective and there's some good humor there. So highly recommend. So that one is a four out of five.